Hallo zusammen. Hello everybody. How do you like my voice? Ich spreche ganz akzentfreies Deutsch heute. And I have a Disney voice now. <laughs> oh, a very mature voice. I have a very special guest today and I'm really excited. Wow, cut, 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 cut. Das ist viel zu schnell. Wenn ich nicht drei Leute habe, die mir sagen, was ich tun soll, ja, dann, dann so kann ich nicht arbeiten. Das war jetzt keine gute Idee. Yeah, probably true. One, yeah. two and... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mittels is a good production. Hello. Hello. <laughs> very... Hello, Nina. I see she's here in the flash. <laughs> I'm very excited to finally be back with Matilda. Yes. Yes. She yes. you too. I think I was sitting her once and I almost cried. I'm not very good with flowers. Yeah, maybe that's why she she died at the top. That was probably me. That was probably that was her. Probably <laughs> that is Sorry, okay. Matilda. <laughs> Hi, hey. thank you so much for coming on my channel. My pleasure. It's really cool to be here. It's actually cool to be back in Munich and back with my bestie. Yay. We are going to talk about our jobs. We have very interesting jobs, I think. I really think we do have I think very so interesting too. jobs. Also, I always say I have the best job in the world, but I'm pretty sure that you're one of the few people who would actually argue and say that I have it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say I have the best job. What would you say your favorite job was? Ooh, that's a tough question because there's one thing I really like about what I do is I do a lot of different stuff. I have to say the Quintal tour last year was so much fun. It was so much fun just being somewhere every day and playing that playing that album for you guys was just so much fun. And then also starting this thing was really cool as well. But also when I sang a classic Odeans dance class was also really yeah. awesome. There were like 2,000 people in Odeans class and I had a little solo and it was just it was just a really invigorating feeling. Yeah, another another job I really liked was the tour last year um, with Vokame in uh, the States and Canada and Ireland because mm -hmm. we met so many great people. It's a great thing about traveling actually with your job is you get to meet so many really cool people yeah. and music being a universal language you commute even if you don't speak the language um, of where you go we've, we've sung in, in Poland and Spain and France and everything and even if you don't really speak the language they still feel something and that's really awesome. It's really super gratifying. I have a couple of, I call them my chocolate jobs. Yeah. Um, like Star Trek for example because mm -hmm. I am such a trackie. <laughs> but also the, the, the Twilight movies I ended also up, I ended up also doing the um, Twilight audiobooks. It was such a, a journey and it was such a wonderful experience and you know it, it's just not bad picking favorites I guess yeah. but once in a while there's this chocolate job that's yeah. just extra nice it's true it's true yeah your mother and how much your mother I remember I, I told you I was like Sarah if I could choose what whom I would want to dub I would be the mother and how much your mother and if she only has one line because for the longest time we thought that was what was gonna happen yeah. it would probably end with Ted me seeing the mother All right and yeah, you know, it's like if so, and it starts it with one line. And I remember I called you afterwards, and I freaked out on the phone. I was like, Sarah, I just did the mother, and I freaked out because she had told me that was one of the things. She's like, if I if I do, I mean, if there's just any job that I do, I really want to be the mother. And how I met your mother, it was so cool. And for some reason, it worked out. Sometimes you get like it was awesome, and she was really great. What was the worst job you ever had? One of the first jobs I had when I got here was singing for a children's CD. And it was this kind of, the accompaniment was like a little like music box kind of thing. So it was like, <laughs> and when I went into the studio to sing, I, you know, I learned the music and, and stuff. It was German kids songs about the world and about, you know, like, you know, kids songs. I don't know. They're really cheesy. And so I practiced them, you know, in my nice, you know, soothing voice. And so I got into the studio and I sang it and she's like, it just sounds too adult. It sounds too mature. <laughs> Can you try singing it more like a child? So I kid you not, and these recordings probably exist somewhere, and I am horrified. I'd be horrified if they ended up anywhere. Kid you do not. Leave this lady for a day. 
Really, with the the the, the, the air, and you said it in a song, and I sang these songs like that. A CD with my name on it exists somewhere with me singing like that. Find that CD. I know I will. I don't. I, I, that I must, sounds fantastic. I must have it somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I think it might be in the basement somewhere. It is so embarrassing. What was one of your worst jobs? That's a good question. Um. I know I did jobs in the beginning, you know, non-paid acting jobs, so very little pay. You're not very proud of it. They're not very good, and I feel like I didn't do a good job, and it was just very frustrating. But I also dubbed a couple of movies where you were thinking, like, wow, this must be the worst movie of all time. <laughs> but then those movies, I Incredibly fun to dub. Mm, I'll bet. I, I, I don't want to say anything negative, but one movie, and I remember that, it is called ATM. I hope I can say that. It's not the best movie out there. So the director thought it would be fun if all three main voice actors would be in the studio together. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was Johannes Rasper, who was the dubbed Edward, Manuel Straube, who was incredibly talented, and me. And I think we're all drowning in this ACM for probably 15 minutes, so it's a lot of <laughs> sounds, and so it's all three of us, and obviously we're trying to give each other hell. <laughs> we're all trying to give each other hell. So what you do is you try to get the other one to laugh right before the recording, so the recording is ruined, and um, you just start noticing stuff. So we started to, to realize that Johannes is dancing like a duck when he's making his sounds. Apparently, I'm moving my arm all the time. <laughs> I'm like, I don't do that. I do. I do. So all I'm thinking about now is like, I'm not moving my arm to show these guys, but obviously that messes up my performance. So I think the director really regretted having all three of us in the studio. Why was there water in the ATM? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Much sense. Hmm. <laughs> Leave it in the comment section below if you know why there is water in the ATM. Go find out. Go find out and leave it in the comments below and tell us why there's water in the ATM in the movie ATM. There is crummy parts about our jobs. That's one thing that people who want to get into the arts should really, really know that it is not a cakewalk. It is not easy. You have to pay your dues. You can't just go into your profession. You can't just say, I'm going to be a singer, I'm going to be an actress. You need to respect me because I'm a serious actress. No, no, no. You need to be able to play. You need to be able to play the, the small one-line role. You have to do these, you know, do these little things. It's just like being an intern. You get people's coffee before your CEO. Yes, you do. Another thing, I need to uh, um, advocate people here. As an artist, and I'm sure you can back me up on this, sometimes it is true we only work two hours that day. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's exhausting. Yes. And then we come home, we're our, our own secretary, mm -hmm. we're our own agent, we're our own booker, and we're our own tax Mark guy. And our own marketing Marketing. Person. There is always stuff to take care of. Yes. And there is only so and so many jobs out there, whether that is singing or voice acting. And we have a lot of p bills to pay. We have freelancers. No one pays health insurance for us. We have to do but That's why within those two hours of work, we got to give it all we have. And we better hope that someone gives us a fair amount of money so we can buy food the next week. Right. Yeah. And for those two hours, there's so much work that goes in behind it. You also have... Say, um, if I were to do a concert for two hours, I need to learn the music for that concert, I need to practice that, um, I need to, to, to actually make that gig happen, I have to have done the research and contacted somebody for it, or, I mean, in some cases a manager does that for you, but not in all cases. And, yeah, it's all things to consider. Here's a standard question which I always find interesting. Where do you see yourself in ten years? I hate questions like not an awful question, but it's also a really interesting question because I don't know now. You know, if I if you would have asked me that ten years ago, I would have said I want to be in Germany. So I am actually so ten years ago, if somebody had asked me that same question, I, what I'm doing right now is what what I would have said, which is kind of cool. I like that.
now, 10 years from now, oh man, um, well, if you wanted to know the answer to that question, um, you're gonna have to wait until Anina comes to visit again, because unfortunately I'm having a lot of issues with my camera at the moment, and, um, the footage just disappeared. I don't know what happened. I am really sorry, but I have an exciting announcement to make that is next week I will be joined by my dear colleague, Sira Sigihausen, and we are going to start a new series called Singing with Sira, where you will get a little bit of a voice lesson uh, every month from Sigi. That is definitely something for you guys to look forward to. Again, I apologize about the footage, but I hope you liked a little bit of that insight into um, Anina and my careers. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and um, in the comments below, make sure you let us know uh, why there was water in the ATM in the movie ATM. Be sure to subscribe to see my adventures every Friday. My name is Sarah, and I'll see you next week.